In this video, I'm doing a review on the book Backgammon Strategic Concepts by Francois Tardieu. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've read the book, let me know what you think, what you like about it, if there are any opportunities for improvement, um, and we can all share. This is the website where you can purchase the book. Uh, right now, it's in the uh, French Backgammon Association, uh, but hopefully it will be available elsewhere as well. Uh, there's not much here, um, so I'll take this off and just talk to you about the book. For those of you who are not familiar with Francois Tardieu, he was one of the best uh, or top-ranked players in the world uh, some years ago in the early 2000s, I believe. Uh, and he left the backgammon scene for some time, not sure what he was doing, but he was working on this book, and it finally came out this year. Um, this is the book. I don't know if you could see it, but it's a beautiful book. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed. It's hardback, uh, nice quality, um, and I really like that in a book. It's uh, over 300 pages and about 344 pages. And uh, there are multiple sections on uh, several different topics. Great for any kind of player. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy the most about the format of this book is there are seven chapters. Each chapter uh, discusses a topic. And in each chapter, there are a few pages th that talk about the topic. And there are many problems in each chapter. Um, it varies depending on the number of chapter. But each problem is basically two pages, the left side and the right side. So on the left side, you see the problem uh, at the top and under it are all the choices, play A, B, C, D, et cetera. Um, and on the right side is the explanation. Um, usually it's very concise. It shows the correct answer, the equity lost by the incorrect answers, and there's a summary in a box. So you can just kind of go through those and learn the key concepts one at a time. And what I particularly like in some of the problems is actually they contain two positions. There's position A and position B. And the difference between position A and position B is very minor. And that demonstrates the key concepts in that position and what you need to be thinking about. Because the answer is always different in position A versus position B. Uh, Another thing to note is I believe it's almost exclusively on checker plays. I don't think there are any problems on cube action. Um, so if you're looking for something to learn about cube action, obviously this is not the best book. However, it does refer to checker plays that you'll have an opportunity to uh, turn the cube in the future. And there are some pro problems where there are two positions uh, in one position, you have cube access. In one position, you do not. Uh, so I'll go through the seven topics. And most of these are really good for basically everyone because you can learn a lot. Um, I went through every single one. Um, and I really like how he explains it um, and how he goes through each thing. There's also um, some forwards by two of the best players in the world, uh, Mochi, Masayuki Mochizuki from Japan, and Sandra Lyloff from Denmark. Most people are very familiar with them. Um, so chapter one goes through how to play the opening roles. And it's not just the first or second role, it's uh, the first several roles, three, four, five, six roles, something like that. Talks about key concepts, showing you examples of when you should make certain points when you should split, when you should do a variety of different things. Um, so that's a great chapter because the opening position occurs in every game and the opening few roles occur in every game. And there's a lot that you can learn and learning these, uh, you can use that knowledge to apply it to many other very common positions that you see. Uh, the second chapter is also a great one on should you leave an advanced anchor. So. A lot of times people will make an advanced anchor that helps for a lot of reasons. It certainly helps uh, lose uh, fewer gammons um, and it serves as a good defensive point. But at, at some point you have to know when you should leave or when you should stay. And 
This shows many examples as to when you should stay and when you should leave. Again, the first few pages of the chapter, um, there are bullet points, there's text, that it kind of explains everything, and there are many examples. I feel like that's the best way to learn, looking at the, the examples. Then uh, chapter three uh, is playing with or against a loan back checker. It reminds me a lot of the book by Michi, Michihito Kageyama, uh, back checker strategy. It's kind of an abbreviated version of that, about 30 pages on how to play with just a single back checker or how to play against uh, a single back checker when your opponent has that. Chapter four goes through blitzing positions, and that's always very common. Uh, for example, the opponent splits, and then you roll a double five, making two points, and it goes through all the little details, all the things you need to know, how many checkers you have in the zone, how many checkers you need, when you should hit, when you should make another boy point uh, rather than hitting, when you should move the back checkers. You'll cer certainly learn a lot about blitzing in that chapter. Uh, and then chapter five is another important topic, prime versus prime. A lot of games will become prime versus prime. Uh, priming is one of the for major game plans in backgammon, and oftentimes both sides have primes, and that's a prime versus prime game. Those types of games can be very delicate. Timing is very important, uh, and it discusses what you should do, when you should hit, when you should break an anchor, when you should leave a shot, um, a lot of important things. And just reading those and learning about them will help you a lot. Chapter six is pay now or pay later. Uh, and that's, again, another topic that comes up a lot. When you should break an anchor, when you should leave an immediate shot rather than possibly wait for a shot, uh, kind of you have to look at safe versus bold criteria. Is it going to be safer if you leave a shot now or is it going to be more dangerous uh, if you leave a shot now versus later? Uh, and he goes through many examples uh, of those. So all of those six chapters are outstanding because they apply to many different games. Uh, the final chapter, uh, the seventh chapter is on back games. Um, it doesn't occur very often, but it is a personal interest of mine because I find those to be the most complicated and complex games in general, and I've studied a lot on those. And he does a very good job talking about it. Um, it's a great, um, great chapter to read if you've looked at other chapters uh, in other books about back games, for example, um, in the recent book, Back End and Masterclass by uh, Mochi, Mark Olson, and Alec Barr. Mochi has an entire chapter of about 70 pages dedicated exclusively to back games, um, and that's outstanding. And if you want to learn more about back games, um, this is a good chapter. So uh, that's the book, Backgammon Strategic Concepts by Francois Tardieu. Uh, I received it about a week ago. I just finished reading it, and everything is outstanding. Um, if I could pick one opportunity for improvement, uh, perhaps uh, the size of the font is just a little bit small for my eyes, but uh, that's a very minor thing, and if that's the worst thing about a book, uh, that's a very good thing. Uh, overall, great, great book, uh, great information. I learned a lot. Um, I think a lot of people will learn a lot. Uh, it's an easy read. You can go through it pretty quickly, go through a single chapter easily in one day. Um, and I think it's good for any kind of player. Maybe not if you're just learning the game, if you're just learning the rules, but if you're intermediate, if you're advanced, even the expert level players can learn a lot. Um, so I definitely recommend it. Go take a look. I'll put a link to where you can purchase it, uh, and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So thank you for joining me uh, in this book review on Backgammon Strategic Concepts by Francois Tardieu. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And please let me know what you think in the comments below, what you'd like to see in future videos. If you've read the book, what kinds of things do you like about the book? And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep rolling your dice.